My name is Sorima Rivera Nunez, and I'm an assistant professor of epidemiology at Rutgers Group of Health. I'm a faculty resident at the Environmental Occupational Health Sciences Institute. Um, I'm also part of our SEED center, the P30 NIHS center here hosted at EHSI. Um, I'm an environmental health scientist by training and I'm interested in how chemical exposures impact maternal and child health. So here in the lab we have um, studied multiple chemicals from synthetic chemicals like PFAS and phthalates to metals, toxic metals and essential um, metals and how they impact health. And um, most recently we have been um, interested in mycotoxins. And mycotoxins are byproducts of uh, fungi and particularly we're as, uh, interested in the mycotoxin zoralinone. And zoralinone, we are interested in, in zoralinone because it is an endocrine disrupting chemical and basically what that means is that they alter um, hormone systems and that is very important during pregnancy and, and childhood. Zoralinone interferes with um, estrogen. It's, it's a structure mimic um, estrogens and estrogen is a hormone that is very important for pregnancy. It helps for the baby to grow and it helps to maintain the pregnancy. So when we have a chemical that can mimic or interfere with estrogen is of concern. So that's one of the reasons we study mycotoxins and particularly serolinone in our lab. At UHSI, I am part of the Chemical Analysis Detention Core. And what we do here, we develop uh, different methods to analyze uh, different uh, chemicals. We train students from PhD students to um, master students and we have different interns that come from undergrads and sometimes even high school students. As part of this team we also do community work in um, different communities through New Jersey. For example, we measure lead in different communities since this is a um, it is an exposure that interests many communities here in New Jersey. That's one of the main chemicals in overburdened communities um, across New Jersey. So we work close to these communities to um, characterize their exposures to lead and to provide uh, information in what can they do to minimize and to prevent uh, the risk of exposure. We work together with different investigators and even community members. For investigators, we develop different methodologies um, to measure different chemicals and try to offer different services across the university and outside. Uh, for community members, we listen to their concerns and we try to assist on different um, analysis of different chemicals and sometimes development of some protocols. For example, we work very close together with different um, New Jersey communities in measuring lead in their um, environments. For example, we measure lead in dust or water or soil and we get back those results to the community. At the same time, we provide different options or you know, more information about how to mitigate and prevent their exposures to lead across New Jersey. If you want to learn more about what we do, the different projects that we have, including those in the community, you can um, go to ehsi.rutgers.edu.